I think the question that it, probably on, on most people's mind is, what was it like to work in the White House? Um, so tell us uh, a little bit about what that experience was like. Yeah, you know, it's funny because I think I romanticize D.C. in general. I was a big fan of the West Wing. I watched it every single night when I was a kid. You know, my dad and I, Wednesday nights, we sat down, and I wanted to be C.J. Craig. That was my big thing. And um, I just didn't really think it was attainable. I didn't know how to get to D.C. I didn't think I was smart enough. I didn't think I had the right connections. You know, at the end of the day, I'm a girl from Long Island who had, like, no political connections at all. My family wasn't politically involved. And so I'm very thankful just the fact that walking through the gates of the White House was something that, I mean, every day, it's, a, it's an honor and privilege, which sounds kind of uh, corny, and we all say it, but we used to have this saying in our office, because every day you'd be running around, jumping from one thing to the next, like whether it was organizing a camp out for 40 Girl Scouts <laughs> on the South Lawn <laughs> of the White House where they were sleeping over, to organizing a state dinner. So it was very varied, but um, we used to have this saying that we work in an incredible place where we get to do amazing things, and you would just repeat that to yourself all the time, whenever you were flustered and scared, or you know, running around, and it was just, it was an honor, um, and working for somebody that I believed in so fully was really just um, so lucky, because the issues that she cares about, Bruce Lee cares about, I care about deeply as well, and so that was really incredible, just to have, work with somebody that you feel so in sync with, um, and feel so passionate about as well. 